girl, we gotta clean this room for real because uh, here's the thing about me. Um, it takes me less than two hours to dirty a room. It literally takes me less than two hours. I will clean an entire room. It will be spotlessly clean. I will either get ready, do my skincare, or have late night snacks, and then my room is trash. I have so much stuff like all over my vanity right in front of me that we literally need to put away. And then there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. And then I have a bunch of packages, 13 packages just lined up like just sitting in a corner over here. I've been wanting to do like a package unboxing type of video and I just haven't done that. But yeah, I got these new under eye patches and like I've really been liking them. These just came out. This is the Peter, St Peter Thomas Roth um, Even Smoother Glycolic Retinol Hydrogel Eye Patches. Okay, so from Ulta, I got some hair things. First thing that I got is another Olaplex. Like I said, I really, really like this product. As you can tell, I have three of them. I've been using it since December. It's really, really good because it was on sale. I got another one of these little Olaplex bonding um, little oils. If you have never seen them, they're like these little bonding oils. I used to never understand the hype behind this oil and I was like $30 for this tiny little bottle of oil. I get it. I literally get it, okay? For Christmas, I got like a duo set where it came with like this and this. And yeah, so now it's for purchase. So now I have two of these oils. I basically just needed to get backups of that. Does that make sense? And then, okay, so e.l.f. totally came out with a new product, you guys. This is a new Squeeze lip balm, and I just needed to get it. It's supposed to be like a dupe, I guess, of like the Laneige one, which I actually do have the Laneige one. But here's the thing. It's like really, really tiny compared to the Laneige one. Do you see like the difference? But I think this is like $20, and this was like $3 or $4. So like, it doesn't matter if it's smaller, you know? This stuff is actually pretty freaking good. Um, I used it on my lips the other day. So it's really freaking small, but it's actually really nice to stick in your purse or just like, I don't know, stick in your bra for like a night out. But it's actually pretty good. And I do actually want to get more. I like it. Mm, it tastes like so freaking good. Okay, and then um, these two are not from Ulta, but like I got this whenever I went to like in the area of like Ulta. So this is the Ion Repair little Repair Solutions Deep Conditioner. I discovered this like deep conditioner in high school when I dyed my hair blonde. Um, and then I made myself look like ramen noodles. I went through this phase where I really wanted to be a fucking blonde and I had no money and so I did it myself. Like I went to Walmart, bought bleach, all this, yeah, girl. Anyways, so then I had to go to a salon, try and get them to fix it. Then they couldn't fix it. And then I went through this phase where I was like, well, I want pink hair. So I did pink hair. Um, and then I was like, the pink was fading and I was kind of like, okay, I look a little fucking ugly and I want to go back to normal, you know, like, and so my mom booked me a salon appointment. Obviously I had no fucking money. And so I wanted to be blonde and she was like, no, I will pay for it. If you go dark brown, if you dye your hair back to a normal color, I will pay for it. If you want to go blonde, that's on you. But like, I think I literally had like $300. So like if I wanted to be blonde, like that would have been all my money. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I discovered this product during that time when my hair was like dead. And so this has been like, I don't know, a favorite of mine for the last like what, eight years? That sounds like I'm literally the oldest person alive. This stuff is really, really good. I got two of them. I have one in my shower and then this is a backup as well. But girl, we have like a lot to like, do you see it? Yeah, girl. There's literally pillows on the ground, like a, a jar, a box of nail stuff. Like girl, I don't even know what's on the ground over there to be honest. We got like some shoes, some toys, and then, <laughs> like stop. And then over here. And when I tell you that this was literally clean two days ago, it was clean two days ago. So like, some of you guys may be like, you're gross, you're gross, clean. I do clean, I clean actually every single day and then I just destroy it every single day. Okay, so let's clean the vanity girl because the camera's charger is currently charging and then this battery is on like 1%. So like, um, yeah, we're just gonna try and clean as much as we can before it dies. I don't know where to begin, I'm overwhelmed. This has to go in the skincare drawer, which we need to organize my skincare drawer, you guys, because it's actually, it's actually great. You can't see it right now. I want you guys to be able to still see. I have you guys on a tripod, so I don't know how you'll be able to see this, but the skincare drawer, you guys, it's messy, okay? I have a little new product, though. So I have a drawer. You guys aren't really gonna be able to see it because it's broken, and I keep a lot of like new stuff just because it makes it kind of like easier for me to know like what's new. Like not used and I need to use. This is a box. Guys, this is my favorite portable charger ever. I have it linked on my Amazon. I use this every single day of my life. This is my best purchase thing ever. 
Got some more skincare. We got a little eye cream. You guys, I have this entire collection of the Laura Mercier. I got these like last year or whatever, but they're like so freaking pretty and I kind of want to do like a swatch video on them. But you guys, they're like lipstick crayons. I really, really like this one. It's called Eloise, I think. But they're lipstick crayons and they actually like rock. Like they're so freaking good. I need to use these more often and like tell you guys about them because they're actually freaking good. And like nobody talks about these and they rock. cute this little lighter is you light me up so cute okay this goes away in the hair drawer as well put the hair clips away this goes in there. there's a lot of like hair and dust also you guys like this is like stained as you can like see it's just like stained from makeup and i got some like contact paper and I kind of really, should we do that right now? I got this because this, no matter how much I clean it, it looks like it's dirty and it looks like it's gross when it's literally clean and I scrub it, but it's just stained. So I got this little paper to like put on top so it's like nicer or whatever. Okay, it's cleared off, but do you see what I'm saying, you guys? Like, when I say, like, I can scrub this so much, it's just, it's stained. Like, it's not dirty, like, fully cleaned, like, with Clorox, but it's just stained. So, I'm gonna put that white paper on here because hopefully, you know, hopefully it, like, makes it better or whatever because, I don't know, it bugs me every single time that I clean it. And then it's just, I don't like the lighting. It bugs me every single time that I clean it because then it's just fucking dirty. And I'm like, it's not dirty. I cleaned it, you know? Now, I need to go work on... Our little cluster area of this but this isn't that hard it's just like random things okay but this is what i mean by like my skincare drawer you guys like we need to go through this because it's completely do you see it's like not organized and it's like clustered it's filled to the brim with stuff i like organized my drawers so like my hair stuff and i have hair clips and hair brushes in here i'm really proud of the store it's like pretty organized and then this one as well like i finally have a well, this kind of like ruins it but i have like all of my hair tools finally all over here and it doesn't really this just does not look organized but i promise you guys it's like organized and then all my wands right here so yeah i'm really happy about these drawers this is my drunk drawer basically this is another drawer that eventually needs to be organized but is not being organized today so we're just going to shove everything in the top drawer. So casually just have a Kylie highlight. I love this highlighter. If you can get your hands on this, I don't know if she sells this anymore. It's the Kylie and Stoss one. So freaking good. Oh my god. So if you guys watch my team, I did like a random things that I bought or whatever and it was a bunch of shit from Timu. Well, this is one of the things and it's uh, basically like a lighter, like a cigarette tray or like, I don't do cigarettes, that's fucking gross, but like, you know, like a joint tray or like an ashtray basically. But I never wanted to ruin it, so 
I put my pistachio shells in it. So like whenever I'm eating my Trader Joe's garlic and onion ones, these are so freaking good. I'll just sit in bed and I'll stick the shells in here. Clever, mind blowing, bet you never even knew that. Very much so legendary. This drawer is so filled that I can't even throw anything in it really. Guys, if you've never tried these, these are the Trolley Sour Dewey Duo ones. It comes with three on the back. Mango, pineapple. Literally, let's eat one right now. It's the orange and the green one. Mmm. Go get these right now. I love eating these late at night. We also got some Reese Beasties. And I have some hot Cheetos hiding back here. I'm stuck. I want it to be fall time because I love this perfume for the fall time. It is so dusty over here. Oh my goodness. It's so freaking dusty. Here is the very much cluttered skincare drawer. It was organized at one point and now it's not organized so we're going to take everything out and organize it because I like it to be have like sections if that makes sense. But um yeah. This is my pride and joy skincare drawer. This is where I just house all of the skincare products that I'm currently using. I have a lot more random skincare products like in other drawers but those are like non open ones so these are like this is like the open skincare because i love skincare so i'm constantly trying out new products like i have like five eye creams open at once that's not normal i used to like dream about having skincare products when i was younger like my mom would not buy me skincare products like literally like all i wanted when i was younger was a neutrogena pink grapefruit scrub and she would never buy that for me so now that i'm of my age and i have my own money i can buy my own skincare products and yeah it's great so i'm kind of like going ham for like all the things that i did not have when i was younger if that makes sense you know let's start to organize it because I like to have it organized in sections, so we need to take everything out first. I'm just gonna try and like take, just start taking things out. I think that's the best option, to just take literally everything out. Yeah, and then reorganize it. Because there's a lot of things. I also have to like get rid of some of the stuff that's in here. Either I don't use it, it's like empty, or it's like expired. this like yesterday but i was like no let's film cleaning it because i love watching these kinds of videos i don't know if you guys like to watch these types of videos but these videos are so satisfying to me oh my god i was wondering where this was i literally just ran out of this cleanser like fully used the entire bottle in the shower and so I needed to find my replacement but I've been looking for it for days and I didn't know where it was and it was literally shoved all the way back here So this is what the floor is looking like. I have literally just all the skincare products piled out and then we're gonna organize it. Okay guys, we have the drawer. Now let's organize. So what I start first is I got this little like tray like so long ago. Not even getting you probably like two years ago from the Dollar Tree. I really really need to go back and get more like I want more organization so there'll probably be like a part two of this video of like organizing and like things but right now I only have this one so I kind of keep it in the middle okay how I kind of had it before is like my serums like my more like skinnier serums in here and here I would put eye creams and then back here would be like sunscreens and stuff so let's do that this is one of my favorite sunscreens ever this is the La Roche Posay SPF 70 it is so good that I literally 
have a backup of it. I like to put that like right here. And then I really like this Dermalogical one as well, but this one's just super expensive. This one's like over $100 or like something crazy like that. I love, 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 love this one. It's just so, it's so pricey. So I found this one and this one is like such a good dupe for it. And there's more like SPF protection in this one and it's cheaper. And then I also, I'm just gonna put some, this little like retinol back there. Okay, so right here I want like toners, um, my toners. I have three toners that I'm using right now. You guys know about this one. I love this one. It's been lasting literally so freaking long. And then I just started recently using this one. Put it back there. And then I broke this one out out of some skincare PR, but I've only used it like one time so far. So we're just gonna put that back there. Okay, so right here is where I do kind of like my eye creams. Okay, that eye cream that eye cream this eye cream is almost gone and i love it it's so good it's the wrinkle blur 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 i can't even speak english so i have that in there then i have this drunk elephant which i actually think that this might be empty okay yeah so we're gonna add this to the empty i love this cto one but it's actually amazing because i we have a backup so let's open the backup We'll get rid of this one. Oh, it just looks so much better. The brand new one, this one. So we need to get rid of this one. Add that one into the equation. I have more eye creams. Oh, this one is my favorite, favorite eye cream. What is this? Oh, this is a travel moisturizer. So I'm gonna stick it over here. I think I'm gonna stick the moisturizers over here. This one right here, I love this one. Little row, but is there any left? I actually do not know. I think this is another one that has to because I have so many skincare products, it's really crazy. Like when I go through something like entirely because I'm always switching my routine. So it's kind of hard for me to like not fully go through products because I'm always switching them up. But like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this one, the drunk elephant, literally none left, but it's okay because I actually do have a backup for this too. Literally right here, you guys, the backup. So we need to the back up out so we need to go back in with some moisturizers one put another moisturizer you guys know i like this one this is a vitamin c moisturizer we're gonna put that right there those are some first aid beauty pads that i really really like and this is the first aid ultra repair cream moisturizer i really really like that as well I also broke this moisturizer out along with this. It like came in with like a collection. I really, really like this line. Like the eye cream is one of my favorite things. This all comes from like the same line. But um, I've been using this Banana Bright Serum. This is like a vitamin C serum. I really, really like this for the last like, I don't know, like one, two years. And then this eye cream is so good that it's literally like almost like completely like done. Literally like scraping the serum right there i have some more serums um this is dermalogica that's really, really good i broke up this oil i haven't really been using it that much but i'm obsessed with the matching moisturizer to this you guys wait oh my god okay so i basically got this in pr a long time ago and i used it and then like, I don't know, I just had like other moisturizers. I do this thing where like I use a skincare product for like a fixated period of time. Then I forget about it, switch to something else, and then I go back to it. Does that make sense, you know? Um, so this moisturizer right here is the Ulla Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I actually literally have a backup to this because I really, really like it. I just don't like to run out of things like if i like a product i don't want to run out of it because like when i go to use it and it's not there it's gonna like just like freak me out and like another thing like what if it sells out like what if they discontinue it or something like that so anyways yeah i literally have a backup to this moisturizer but this is the moisturizer that i've been using like every single day for the last like i don't know week and a half like i've been like using this like a psycho it melts into your skin like butter i don't even know how to explain it like i have like an extreme dent like it was filled to the brim love this but the whole thing is that this oil like matches it or whatever and i've used this a couple times um it's really really good but this moisturizer has been like a fixation for me recently it is currently 111 degrees outside right now and i'm doing this with no air conditioning for you guys okay guys we just ran out of space girl but we're back again okay this is one of my favoriteest moisturizers ever it is literally a brand new jar waiting for me to use it in the winter time this is like my favorite winter moisturizer it's so freaking good and then i really like this moisturizer as well it's like an spf neck one i don't know 
know, it's supposed to be like anti-aging and shit. Oh frick. And then I have this sleep mask that I really, really like from Teeny as well, but sadly it is now expired. We're also gonna have to get rid of this because this is expired as well. That is so sad. I got some more serum that we're gonna put right here. Favorite vitamin C serum, which I've actually been trying out another one, you guys. Um, if you guys watch my skincare video, like how to get glass skin or whatever, I did like an entire video of like a bunch of products from this brand. Well, when I did that video, they didn't have this and I saw it on their website that they had it. So I had to get, and I've actually been testing out this vitamin C because you guys know this one is like my all time fave, but I've been trying this one out and this one is so freaking good, like comparable to this one. And this one is cheaper than this one. You guys, I love this serum right here literally is all gone so we have to add that to the pile and i also have a backup of this as well we gotta get rid of this one and we have a backup i love this stuff you guys can get it on amazon for literally like ten dollars the oil is so cheap and i love it because it's kind of like a four-in-one oil it has what does it have in it? it has vitamin c in it retinol in it cocoa butter different oils it's like the lazy skincare product that if you don't want to put a lot of skincare on like sometimes i'll literally just wash my face and then put this on if i don't want to like layer anything an empty af bottle and a fresh clean bottle love this stuff you guys i finally got a backup to this if you guys saw i like put this serum, but I really like this serum. I never showed this serum in the video, but I love this serum. As you can tell, it's like halfway gone, but I literally had to get a backup of these. It's in here. I've been really into these serums as well by La Roe Posay. I really, really like this brand. I just love like the scent that it has. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't cause any type of irritation. The only thing is, is that like this brand is a little bit more expensive. Like I think both of these serums are like $40 each, but seriously, they are so freaking good. Then I got this cream. This is another, sadly, serum that I have to throw out that I really, really liked. The snail repair one. Ugh, this one is so good. It's just fucking expired. This is really good, guys, because we're cleaning out and get ready, getting rid of expired things. Swift. This, I love this serum, and luckily I have a backup of it. Basically, like, I'll, I have a little backup of everything. I use this literally. Oh, frick. I want to, like, show you guys just, like, how much I used it. How much I used Literally, look at that. There is nothing in here, but I luckily have a backup because Drunk Elephant sent me a PR package. <sighs> Literally, thank God. Which I actually want to unbox my PR packages with you guys because I have a bunch of stuff that I actually want to show you guys. Like most people like become influencers because they want money. Babe, I did it for the free shit. Honestly, I did it for all the PR packages. Like I remember being 13 years old and like 12 years old sitting in my bed watching other YouTubers literally open PR and me being like, that's going to be me. That's going to be me. I'm going to do that. Oh, look at me, girl. Open in PR. So we gotta add this to the empties. I have a lot of like empties. I'm trying to like start like doing like my empties or whatever, like show you guys. I have like an entire box full. So I think I'm actually gonna film that next month because I used to love watching those videos because I feel like, I don't know, it's 2023. There's so many products. There's 700 moisturizers. There's 700 serums. There's 700 fucking makeup blushes and all that stuff. Like there's so much products out in the world. So when I, I don't know, seeing someone like fully use something, I'm like, ah. Oh. That's that good shit. We gotta add this to the empties. My fave eye cream. Guys, we low-key have a lot of empties right now. These are the empties so far that we have to add to the collection. Five things to add to the empties collection. Okay, guys, we're gonna do speed round now because it's getting hot shit in here, okay? And I need to turn the air on for a little break, but we need to finish. I don't know where to stick you guys. I have a bunch of mini glow. What are these called? Glam glow masks. So I'm just gonna stick those right here. And then I have like some facial tools, this, oh my god, this, you guys, this eye cream, oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys ever saw, but there was a lady on TikTok that was like in her 40s or something like that, and she said that she used this eye cream um, for like 20 years or something like that, and she showed a comparison, like her eyes, dude, like when I tell you she looked like she was in her 20s or like her 30s, like she was like 46 or like oh, pushing 50 or something and she did not look like it, okay? She said that she used this for like 20 years because it's affordable, all this stuff. So I, I've been using it as like an all over face cream. It's an eye cream, but I don't like the consistency of it. It's too thin. I like a thick eye cream. So I use it as like a facial moisturizer. You guys, like she literally showed a side by side comparison of her hands and on one hand she would apply it like squirt it. Dude, dude this works okay obviously i'm in my 20s i'm not gonna know if this fully freaking works until i'm like 40 but guys 
she showed me her face and like her skin and like yeah this stuff is actually really really good if you get like ingrown hairs and stuff i always forget that i have it and like i literally need to use it and then you guys know i'm obsessed with my maro badescu pimple cream i need to get a new one but um i got this like sent to me so we've been trying to use it blemish blaster i used it last night and I don't know. I think it's like pretty good. I don't I don't know, girl. Micellar water. We're just gonna stick her right over there. Okay, what else? Oh my god, these are so cute. It comes with these. Okay, so I got these face masks from I Do Care and they're like sheet masks or whatever. Straight chillin', but what's so cool is that this comes with it and then like you open it or whatever. And then like you open this and then you pick out the face masks like i'm gonna show you guys like the face masks are in there and then you use these and you pick it out okay guys we're almost done i'm literally sweating we need to put like my hair bands in here so i think i'm just gonna like lay my hair bands maybe like right here but then that like makes it look kind of clustered remover i have backups to my vitamin c that i'm literally addicted to and then obviously my sunscreen and then i've been hearing all the girlies on tiktok rave about this it's the summertime so i can't really use this right now it's more of like a thicker balm cream but they rave about this in the winter time so these are just like my little backup i have a lot of facial sprays i really really like this watermelon facial spray just gonna stick that back there this is like a neck cream it's supposed to like help like with neck neck wrinkles or whatever i'm just gonna put my facial sprays right here i really really love the mario Badescu sprays in particular you guys know this one i have been using this like non-stop for the last like seven years i have a little facial makeup mirror oh i have an ice roller and so this is like the part to the ice roller and then i have all of my sheet masks eye masks nose patches frick i actually forgot about these okay wait hold on i need to do a little rearranging over here there you guys go it's all organized well if these are taken out then it looks like really organized okay you guys so now it is all organized oh this is like my favorite drawer i love it it literally looks so good like wow look at that shot guys